Those two pictures were of, a, of Ryan Halligan. Uh, he was a 13-year-old. He was your typical 13-year-old. He liked sports. He liked to hang out with his friends. He liked girls. You know, MSN, AOL, all that stuff. However, Ryan was a victim of cyberbullying. Um, he was picked on throughout all middle school and all elementary because he was a little bit slower and he was in some special education classes. Over the summer, um, he was on his AOL and messaging a girl. And throughout the whole summer, this girl put him under the impression that she liked him. So, Ryan comes to school the first day and he goes to talk to this girl and she's with a group of her friends. And as Ryan approaches, he realizes that he, he knows something's up because they're all looking and smiling. And when he goes up and says something to her, they just all start cracking up and busting out laughing. So that's when he found out that it was a big joke and nothing that the girl had said or anything like that was serious. Um, so later that night, Ryan went home, got on his AOL account, messaged some people, and told them goodbye, told his friends goodbye, things like that. Um, later that night, he ended up committing suicide. Um, his father then, a few, a few days later, his father logged onto his AOL account and saw these messages, and there was the reasoning of why he committed suicide and all this. Um, so what is cyberbullying? Uh, a lot of people really don't know about it or don't know what it is. Um, it's any type of harassment, humiliation, uh, a threat, um, you know, just anything that bullying in real life is just with words over the internet or any source of technology. Um, cyberbullying is no joke. Uh, it's, it's honestly can be just as bad. Words over the internet hurt just as bad as they do in person. Um, over half of the students, over half of the adolescents and teenagers have either experienced cyberbullying or have taken part in cyberbullying. Uh, more than one in three people have actually received cyber threats. Um, and less than one in five cases of cyberbullying are reported. Uh, so, what are some things that we can do to help? Um, you know, we can talk to the Talk to people, let them know early what cyberbullying is, introduce them to students, let them know the consequences, what can happen, tell them the story of Ryan Halligan. Um, just in inform them about it, that it can have some pretty serious consequences. Um, as a parent, you can lay down some computer rules, uh, which is what the parents of Ryan did. Um, the parents must know the password and the login for anything, for the email or for the AOL. Um, there's no talking to strangers and just any other rules you can think of that would uh, benefit you knowing any information on the computer. Um, you, can, you need to encourage kids before, they even, before you even have an idea of what's happening. Let, tell the kids to let people know what's going on. If there are any issues, if there's cyberbullying going on, please just let tell them to let somebody know. Um, also, another thing a parent could do is keep your computer in like a living room or a room that just has a lot of people in it and no privacy. Um, and also let the children know to not send anything or post anything that they would not want anybody in the world to see. Once it's on the internet or you know, message, it's anything is possible of what can happen. In conclusion, cyberbullying is happening everywhere, anywhere and everywhere, all the time. It's happening right now. Um, and there's honestly nothing that we can do to completely prevent it 100%. Um, please, if you have any concerns of anybody being cyberbullied, let somebody know, talk to them. Anything can help. Cyberbullying is no joke, like I said. There are horrible consequences. It ha it's happening every day. Um, 